Well, if you want to see some sleight of hand, I've got to get myself uh, ready for this. You know, sleight of hand is kind of a demanding thing here. So let me uh, do my uh, little flexing thing here. Okay, good. Now, here we go. Let's see. Maybe I'll just take it from behind your ear. There you go. Now, it doesn't look like much yet, but if I take it and I squeeze it, it turns into a coin. It's just that it's uh, an invisible coin. <laughs> you can't see invisible coins until you take the invisibility away. But when you take the invisibility away, it looks just like a real coin. Okay? Of course, now that I've got that coin, I could take it and toss it away and cause it to come out of my elbow. Of course, I could take that same coin and toss it away and cause it to come out this elbow. Sometimes I take it and throw it away completely. Wait a second. Oh, sorry. <laughs> but if I take this coin and put it into my pocket, just like this, it pops straight through the material that's solid through solid. But the best part is when I take that silver dollar, that silver half dollar and just squeeze like this and it grows a thousand <laughs> times into a giant coin. Can you imagine the gumballs you can get with that? <laughs> How long you could park with something like that? Now, you know, when somebody sees this kind of thing, they're tempted to say, boy, his hands are fast. I'd hate to play cards with him. It's not moving your hand so fast that people can't see it. That's not how it's done. What we do is we control the nerve endings in your eyes and your body. Does that make more sense? Mm -hmm. I'll show you yeah. what I mean. I mean, with this one finger alone, I can take away your sense of hearing. If I press, she couldn't even hear it when I'm touching the nerve. That's just one example of it, of course. Now, I'll show you another example. Here, uh, hold out your hand like this for me. Now, if I put that coin right on the palm of your hand, you can feel that coin, can't you? Yes. That's because the nerve endings in our hand are feeding back to our brain the existence of the coin. Now, you can see the coin, can't you? It's because the nerve endings in your eyes are feeding back to your brain, saying, hey, there's a coin there. Of course, if I take this coin, hold out your hand, if I press this nerve, it deadens all the nerve endings in your hand to where that... Now, if I press even harder, it becomes even possible to even see it. Can you see it? That's because I've deadened the nerve endings in your eyes. Now, of course, if I take back here, if I touch the coin against the back of your elbow, just like that, you can start to feel it again. If I let go here, you can even start to see it again. That's basically how it's done. Of course, you can't tell anybody. <laughs>